ब्रह्मुरारी स्त्रीपुरातकारी भानुशशी भूमिसुत बुधश्च गुरश्च शुक्र शनिराहुकेतव कुरु सर्वे मम सुप्रभात ब्रह्म मुरारी स्त्रीपुरातकारी भानुशशी भूमिसुत बुधश्च गुरश्च शुक्र शनिराहुकेतव कुरु सर्वे मम सुप्रभात ब्रह्म मुरारी स्त्रीपुरातकारी भानुशशी भूमिसुत बुधश्च गुरश्च शुक्र शनिराहुकेतव कुरु सर्वे मम सुप्रभात What is the duty of Rahu? The ancient text describe Rahu as Mlecha. Mlecha, Mlecha means it is a contemptuous term used in it by Indians in Sanskrit. That is a non-Indian, and then I go category is. Mlecha. Rahu represents Mlecha, but now don't use that word. The modern word is unorthodox. Correct? Unorthodox. That's all. Once you take that ancient ones, it will create a revolting feeling inside you. Don't do that. So take the modern world. So I took it up. I said I'll want to produce a study. I'll this is how I this is how I formulate my parameters. In India, one of the questions very commonly asked is. Will I go to USA or England or Germany or Australia and settle down abroad there? Very common. Pardon? Yes, Rahu will represent movement. Rahu will represent aerial space. Yes, correct. Very correct. So. i took it up and because of my experience of doing this type of thing formulating some parameters and doing now see this Which was the page number I had taken earlier? Right. Now, an air hostess has joined her duty. I took the data for joining. The transit of the twelve. I given the lagna. This is her birth horoscope. She joined in the dasha of the moon. I am sorry, I prepared it only in the North Indian style. Will it create South Indian, South Indian style? Will it create any strain? No. she joined in the dasha of the moon what is moon doing aspecting the 12th house i have not given the transit position 
but I have given the data for joining, 28th August 1992. And Mercury, the 12th Lord, was in her Lagna then. Now you see the importance of the 12th house. Now once you look into this horoscope, moon in the 6th house, you will say very bad, bad for health, bad for this, bad for that. Moon in the 6th house is not praised in any text. Show me one text anywhere where moon in the 6th house has been praised. But in the moon in the 6th house gives her such a, a job which gives her more money than the Boston Brahmins of India will ever get. <laughs> right? See the second house, second case. The transit of the twelfth lord of air hostess when they joined. The airlines which takes them on long journeys. Case one, continuing. Same thing. Uh. Case 2. The transit of the twelfth lord of air hostess when they joined the airlines which take them on long journeys. Case 2. Joined in the Dasha of Rahu. On August 10, 1979, when the 10th Lord was in the 12th house, Mercury. 10th Lord of this horoscope will be Kanya Lagna, so 10th, 10th Lord will be Mercury. Now the transit of the 10th Lord in the 12th house is supposedly bad. That is the time for you to retire. That, that is the time when if there is a bad combination, one can be dismissed, if that is there in a horoscope. But here she is joining a job which takes her abroad or takes her on long journeys, right? I will take up the third case. The twelfth lord here is Venus. Like that it goes on. Now there is one which Charles had prepared this morning and given to me. I will go to one, I will take two minutes break off. I will come here. In the meantime I will show you the blind testing done and how it answers. This. Yesterday you remember I had asked a lady. She gave me her horoscope. I will show to you how that answers this blind test. Not a break. I am taking a break for a minute. <laughs> you are not taking. You are not. Now, when you have formulated any parameters, I am telling you a method of doing research, please remember. You can kindly sit down somewhere, I feel uneasy, I have only, I am the only one privileged to stand here. Others have to sit down. Now, why, do, why don't you take a chair? But you can go lay there even from, after getting up from the chair. Now, formulate parameters. How can you formulate your parameters? You must know what is the nature of work they are required to do. Right? In the nature of work, there is commuting involved. In this commuting, there is a long distance movement involved. Therefore, the twelfth house has to come into play. And in this long distance, they have to come into all types of contacts. Mlecha. Mlecha, he is, he means only unorthodox people. 
the british airways treated me as a vegetarian from delhi to india london last time when i came and i became a non vegetarian from london to new york <laughs> so when when they gave that paper give you a report evaluating etc i said it will be difficult for god to create a more inefficient airways than this <laughs> i wrote something stinking i said you fellows cannot even link it up i am a vegetarian at the originating station and in london i suddenly you change me into this so then just one hour before i was to reach new york three of them came sir this is a pure vegetarian food for you i said what will i do after one hour i'll go to new york and take beautiful food in the house of my friend rakesh sharma i will not touch this and they said we are sorry for it i said no your intentions are still non vegetarian <laughs> 9th december 1944 is her date of birth this is her ascendant the 9th december december 9 here i think in usa you write like this right december 9 1944 now the dasha here well the moons nakshatra is 19 18 hasta to moons moon followed by mars then rahu she joined in 1969 that is 25 years so moon roughly if i give a balance of about 2 years and 7 years for rab set and 7 plus 2 9 to 18 years of rahu i get so in the rahu dasha she would have joined right on the day she joined this is her lagna saturn was here tenth lord in the 12th house yes i told you unless you blind test don't accept lay down some parameters not too many parameters if you lay down 20 parameters every research will be valid narrow it down I said I am prepared to test it. So that lady offered last night, and she told me, "Please tell me the result later, because today she is to attend some meeting of the board. She belongs to the trust of this temple." Now her horoscope reads like this: Now who is the tenth lord? contact with rahu okay this is her horoscope the 10th lord in contact with rahu rahu conjoined with the 10th lord so in the dasha of rahu her getting a job is well explained right get some balance of moon give her one year give her two years give her three years when 19 degrees moon hasta nakshatra is there 
only 23 degrees 20 has to be crossed for Hastu to be over and Chitra to begin. So, one, so two and a half years you can give her safely for Moon Dasha. Then seven years of Mas Dasha. Nine and a half years. And eighteen years of Rahu. Nine and a half plus eighteen will give twenty-seven years. Now, 1969, she is 24 years, so in the Rahu Dasha. And most likely in Rahu Mars, Mars will be her 12th Lord. But it doesn't matter. And on the day she joined, the planetary position is ignoring the Lagna. You take the same thing as Lagna. Moon Ketu, Jupiter, Venus, Sun, Mercury, Mars, Rahu. My research done in India is answered 200% here. 10th Lord in the 12th and 12th Lord in the 10th. Clear? Okay? According to classical astrology, bad exchange. Now you are altering the concept? Please remember always Modern approach to astrology will mean dropping all the inhibitions arising out of narrow dogmatic interpretations of classics. It may not be prestigious. I am telling about the nature of duties. Rahu, 12th Lord, Rahu, 12th Lord, 12th house, 10th Lord, 12th house. Is it answering or not? Okay? Pardon? Yes. In this case, it's not, not necessarily so. Yes, it's maybe. The same process, but one is considered and the other one is not. No, it all depends upon what type of evaluation you do. You said here it is not considered a good job. But I started by telling you, lecha, menial, low job. I gave you that definition. If you say it is not considered a good job, you are not you are not saying anything new to me. But all, all that I am saying is, please take a modern view. Pardon? I am taking always from the lagna, but I will also explain it from the moon. When I say two points, when I say two points, try to understand. Take the birth horoscope. Who is the 10th Lord from the moon? 10th Lord from the moon. In contact with. Right? Okay. On the day she joins, now put your finger here, put this, bring this moon here, who is the twelfth lord, aspect in the tenth house, right, 
what i am saying is please remember yesterday i started by telling you i take from two points lagna and the moon i don't take only from one point right i take it from two points at least in transits when i teach gemini's char dasha some of you i hope will be there i will show you first from gemini's char dasha how you arrive at the results then you come back to vinshotri dasha you will see the same result double check the unlimited techniques you have in vedic astrology can be very maddening and the stupid re- rigid interpretations put on many of those concepts are very revolting therefore i say make them flexible don't take them as dogmas but modernize your concept formulate your parameters for to help me kindly do that i will dictate the horoscope from here if you have got this book the my latest revised ups and downs where i have added six new pieces page 132 The horoscope of the boy is Libra ascendant. Date of birth is February two, nineteen seventy-two. I am presenting this case without taking the permission of Rakesh Sharma. because as soon as i reach boston when both husband and wife charles and his wife told me i felt happy i feel very happy when my astrology gives creates happiness for some family and i feel miserable when i don't see any light if my astrology cannot raise your hopes i do not want to do astrology the strict instruction given to by my guru ji is service to humanity through astrology so now you see i am giving an example tula lagna third house jupiter fourth house sun mercury rahu fifth house venus I am sorry, Beth. I could have asked you to prepare this for me. It doesn't matter now. I can solve it this way, though it will take more time. Seventh house, Mars. Yes. Eighth house, Saturn. Tenth house, Ketu. Yes, that is correct. Eleventh house, Moon. in the space between you please write date of birth is february 2 1972 if you draw another two small horoscopes or three small horoscopes three small ones economize the space please i am very sorry i missed it
अगेन तुला लग्न दिस इज द्वादशांशा वन ट्वेल्थ डिविजन फॉर द फादर केतु सेकंड हाउस वीनस थर्ड हाउस जुपिटर फिफ्थ हाउस यस वन गैप सेवेंथ हाउस मास एंड मर्क्यूरी एट्थ हाउस राहु हाँ देन आफ्टर लिविंग वन हाउस मून इन सेट देन सन नेक्स्ट हाउस Then in this here bracket you write twenty sixth July nineteen ninety three. That is the transit position. Now birth lagna you mark as it is. Here you mark as it is this, and here also you mark. Second house Rahu, uh, fifth house Saturn. Eighth house going straight, huh? Venus and Ketu. Ninth house Mercury. Tenth house Sun. Here Mars. And you can put a big dot here because the birth moon is here. Right? And twelve thousand Jupiter here, Jupiter. That December two, nineteen ninety four, the day arrived. I reached Boston. This day has been now put in the book. <laughs> so when I present the book to you, you can put the day K and R arrived. It became it has become a historical day for me. Ah uh, yes. December two, nineteen ninety four. Rahu and Venus in Tula, right? Second house: Jupiter, Sun, Moon, and Mercury. Fifth house: Saturn. Ah. Ketu here, Mars here, and Birth Moon. Of course, you can put a big dot. Okay. Now I'll read it out. I have shown you. You know why I have done that deliberately. I have just now shown you, in the case of an air hostess, the importance of what. The twelfth lord, right? The importance of the twelfth lord is also to be stressed in the case of man who runs away from the house. <laughs> the importance of the twelfth lord is also to be. Stressed in the case of a girl or a boy who elopes. I don't know whether I'm using the correct term. Whether a boy elopes or not, what a girl does, I know. <laughs> When in the case of the boy, you say runs away. In the pardon? Couple elopes. Uh -huh. Anyway, I don't know because I have not done it. <laughs> I read out in the last week of November 1994. <coughs> Mr. Rakesh Sharma asked me in New York to see the horoscope of the son of an Indian friend, a big officer in a bank. This gentleman is in charge of the State Bank of India, Chicago. Uh, no, LA branch. Or I don't know where it is. That side. 
boy had run away from the house on July 26, 1993 and was untraceable. I looked into the horoscope and predicted that the boy was alive and would come back latest by March 1995. I always give the upper limit. You know why? Why? If you tell a girl within 15 days you will meet the lover, from the 13th day she said no symptoms are appearing. <laughs> So safely you say you will meet your lover after 45 days. Even if you see a 15 days period, don't narrow down. <laughs> right? So in the case of an Indian father whose son has run away, I see the upper limit as March. I stretch it and say, well, by March. I could have seen earlier, but I would not come to that. I looked into the horoscope and predicted that the boy was alive and would come back latest by March 1995. But it could happen even early. As soon as I reached Boston, Mrs. Darlene told me that Rakesh Sharma had rung her up and informed that the boy had come back on December 2, 1994. I have included this in the latest version for it good reason. The reason is, don't misinterpret the dashas of the twelfth lord. In USA, in the dashas of the twelfth lord, you people are doing very funny things. <laughs> you know what you are doing? You are going to an Indian guru, perhaps one, or you, you are moving from LA to Boston. In the twelfth, the importance of the twelfth lot for Americans seems to have tremendous potentiality today. You are mobile people. In Hindi we say paon ke niche chakra laga diya. Hai na kate naam log? Which means God has fixed wheels be, be, uh, under your heels. Rollers. So, the, in the importance of the 12th floor for Americans is terrible, terrific today. So, if you take the old classical one and apply, you are doomed. I had deliberately not given another horoscope which I could have given. In the house of Rakesh Sharma, he showed me a horoscope. A boy who was speaking in Urdu. Very good Urdu. So, you can imagine from which nationality he was. Yes. I looked at it and straight away told him in Hindi, now try to do something good and useful because police is going to chase you very soon. If possible, run out of USA. I left New York, reached some place. This boy took me seriously and ran out because I had traced his past properly. Ran out. Two or three days after he ran out of New York, the policemen went to his house. They had all the evidence they would have arrested him. And he would have been inside your U.S. jail for 30 years, according to your law. That boy is safe in Pakistan now. informed me that the boy had come back on December 2, 1994 before the time, but that my prediction was fulfilled in any case. I had given March as the upper limit, but the boy had come earlier. Now I was talking about giving full-blooded case histories to you in the post-yawning period of lunch. So, I, I now presume the post-yawning period has been reached. Right? No one is yawning. The food has gone sufficiently down. 
T is okay. T will not create yawning, it destroys yawning. Of course, I'll take, will just, but let me finish this case, I'll go back and come and give you a more complicated case. Those of you who are going to attend my Gemini class will bring the other case with you, so that that will save my labor of writing. The other case I will, I'll tell you. I had discussed it last year in uh, San Rafael, but uh, they didn't catch it quickly. Well, look at the horoscope of the boy and his Dwadashan Sha. Please try to understand, there is a big battle going on in India between Lahiri Ainansha and Raman Ainansha. I have been having a big quarrel with Dr. Raman. I said, he prescribed 18 books. I said, no, I will not allow your books to be prescribed for my course. Because if you take Lah Ramana Ayanansha, Dwadashansha goes wrong, Navansha goes wrong, Gemini goes wrong. I said, I can't afford that. It's an unscientific Ayanansha. So the big battle went on. Everyone started abusing me. I said, you abuse 100 times more. But I will stick to the science of astrology. Lahiri is giving me results, not Ramana Ayanansha. Right? I, this, this is according to Lahiri. Remember this. Dwadashansha. Look, look at the horoscope of the boy and his Vadashansha to see why his father was posted to the USA. I am giving a method of interpretation. And why the boy ran away. You have to see two events now. The Mars Mercury period of the boy began on February 13, 1991. Mercury is the twelfth lord and is in the seventh house with Mars. See the Dwadashantra. Mercury is the twelfth lord. Dwadashantra. Right? Mercury is the twelfth lord. Mars Mercury period of the boy began. I am giving you the analysis of the Dwadashan Shah. Is everyone able to hear me? Yes. I recite Stotra loudly, so you should be able to hear me. Mercury is the twelfth lord and is in the seventh house with Mars. Three, seven, nine, twelve are houses of foreign journeys, foreign countries. Three, seven, nine, twelve, four houses. The seventh house is a foreign place and Mercury, the twelfth lord, represents foreign country also. The father of the boy got his posting during this period to the USA. Explain. Twelfth Mahadasha and Antadasha lord in the Dwadashansha will explain how his father got posted to a foreign country. The boy ran away from his house on July 26, 1993. Mars, Venus, Mercury, that is I am going to the third Tiantara Dasha. Period of the boy began from June 14th, 1993 and lasted up to August 13, 1993. Mars, Venus, Mercury. In the case of the boy, you find Mars is the seventh lord in his own house. Venus is the Lagna and the eighth lord, and Mercury, the sub sub period, or the Pratyanta Dasha, is the twelfth lord. Am I clear? Then came the period of Mars, Moon, Mars, which ended exactly on December 2, 1994. The boy had run away in the period of Mars in the seventh house. With the twelfth lord, which must have a role in the act of running away or kidnapping. Even in the case of kidnapping, it is the twelfth lord who has to come into this. 
right? It was the sub period of Venus, the eighth lot involved in a bad exchange with Saturn. With the fifth lord in the birth chart, exchange of fifth and the eighth in the birth chart must create aberrations in the mind. Aberrations in the mind. Am I clear? When you talk about psychology in USA, please try to understand. This is how you catch psychology. At San Rafael, I had presented a case of some ex place in USA. Someone came to me, showed the horoscope. I said, what is it that you do with drugs? He said, yes, you are right. And how is your sibling involved? He said, my sister. You are doing it in your own house? He said, yes. Now, these are all modern variations. Now, It was the sub-period of Venus, the eighth lord involved in a bad exchange with Saturn, the fifth lord in the birth chart. It was natural that the boy had aberrations of the mind and had run away from the house. Am I clear? I had told the father of the boy that his son was employed and was earning because the moon period which began from January 13, 1994 was in the 11th house of earning. Is the logic clear? The moon was aspected by Jupiter from the third house, ninth aspect. In the eleventh house of earning. And also Venus. While Venus was aspected by Saturn and the moon, so there was no fatality. Don't be afraid, your son is safe. He is earning, he is employed. I had examined it from the Gemini angle also to arrive at the same conclusion, double check. Double check. What is the favorite expression you have in USA? You say cross check. You say double check. Cross check. Cross check. Okay. On the day the boy ran away, the planetary position was Jupiter was in the twelfth from the Lagna. The birth moon of the boy was under double affliction conjoined with Mars. Aspected by Saturn. Okay? So the boy is agitated about something and it is Tula Lagna, so the 511 axis is working. The boy is a young boy. So the mind is terribly agitated over something. You can understand the psychology of the boy. The Lagna Lord Venus in the 8th house in transit fell under the Rahu Ketu axis. He is the Lagna Lord of the boy in the 8th house under the Rahu Ketu axis. Was it in the Pardon? Was it, in the it could be 22nd Dresh Kone, but then I am seeing the Dasha Antra Dasha, the boy is safe. But he has developed aberrations of the mind. On December 2, 1994, when the boy returned home, 
the sapsa period of Rahu in the fourth house began. Home, H O M E, home. Right? So I stretched it, I went to the end of Rahu, not the beginning of Rahu, to assure the father. If I had said 2nd December, on 2nd December at 10 o'clock, wherever I was in USA, he would have rung me up. He said, my boy has not returned home. So I said, I will be safe till the end of March. If I say, by latest by March. But starting from 2nd December, the sub-sub period of the planet in the 4th house Rahu was starting. That was my basis. Is it clear? Why is Rahu bringing more? 4th house is home. I have given that. I have given, I have discussed that. Pardon? Aspect of? The moon, I had, I had told the boy, father of the boy, that his son was employed and was earning. Because the moon period, which began from January 13, 1994, was in the 11th house of earning. The moon was aspected by Jupiter and also Venus, two benefits. Will they save or destroy? There was no fatality and I had examined it from Gemini angle also. I am coming to that. Now note, one, so many benefits from the Lagna in the second house. On the day he returned, what happened? There are so many benefits in the second house from the Lagna. Right? Second house is moon. You asked a question, how do I examine? I examine from both Lagna and the moon. From the birth moon, Jupiter is going into the fourth house. Benefits in the fourth house. In the second house of the boy, it has to give, happy, give happiness now. The boy came back when Saturn too was aspecting the second house along with Mars. So one, two, three, four planets in the second house from the birth lagna, fourth from the moon, aspected by Mars and Saturn which means six planets influencing the second house from the Lagna and the fourth house from the moon. When you are giving prediction, you have to see future transits as well. That is the principle I am telling you now. The future transits. A prediction is what has happened to you what is happening to you and what is going to happen to you. A prediction is a retrospective view, the present view and the prospective view. Clear? I just wonder why the Saturn aspect helps because Saturn is separate. Pardon? Yes, correct. Separate, Saturn's aspect will be separating. In this case, it is Tula Lagna and Yoga Karaka. Apart from that, Saturn in the fifth house, Saturn in the fifth house, on the day he was returning, aspected by Mars, the Kutumba Karaka, second lord. So don't always take it as bad. The, the boy came back when Saturn too was aspecting the second house along with Mars. The sub-sub period of Rahu in the fourth made possible the homecoming of the boy. Now look at this by applying the Rama and Ayinansha. And I given, I need not go into that controversy, I given. And this prediction will not come out, will go wrong. Because the Dwadashansha undergoes a change. In the book, I have given contrasted. I am raising a technical debate now. 
I give this prediction why on the basis of Lahiri. If I go by any other Ainansha and if the Dwadashansha undergoes a change, if the Dasha table undergoes a change, my prediction goes wrong. Mr. I noticed on the day that you left, the day you came back, Mars is transiting near the moon. Yes. You indicated that to relate to mental agitation. Yes. Correct. Is there a significance there? Yes, the significance here is very good. Beautiful question. The significance is actually here. The Lagna Lord in the eighth house. Under Rahu Ketu axis. Right? Now, on the day he returns, where is Venus? In the Lagna, Libra. Lagna. Come back home. Now he's safe. Also Venus had to travel all the way here, up to this point, for him to come back. And this had to improve. But the main prediction, ladies and gentlemen, is based on the dasha, antar dasha, and pratyantar dasha calculated according to Lahiri Ainansha. So those lagnas um, of Libra for all those transit charts, you you chose that lagna for that day. That wasn't the no no time no no that is not the time. I generally, what I do is, I take the Lagna and from there I see the transits. I take the birth moon and see the transits. So here the information available to you is, this is his Lagna and this is his moon. So I mark this always. It, what Sasri asked me is correct. Is that the time of his arrival? I said no. I do not know what time he ran away. I do not know what time he returned. But for all purposes, I trade, take Tula as his Lagna. I am speaking to you in, New, in New, uh, Pennsylvania in a temple. I explain to you why. Mine is Tula Lagna. Jupiter, Sun aspecting each other in a temple with Mercury there in a foreign country. I still have a question. The third level is Rahu. Rahu is positive in the fourth house, hmm. but Rahu still is second. Now that is where don't put those labels. Okay. <laughs> if you put those labels, you'll do a lot of damage. Because in these latest books of mine, I have taken American examples. Okay. 